Well, oftentimes when we run across a wagon, we kind of look at the outward results, but we don't always realize just what all is involved in the mechanics of how a wagon goes together and how it works and why. Well, this video is showing some of those inside things that you just don't often see or maybe understand that they're there, but they have a purpose. Well, last week we ended up with a 28 bushel wagon. This week we're gonna extend it up a little bit and turn this into a 45 bushel wagon, even though it'll never haul grain again. I'm not ready to do the final assembly of the box to the undercarriage, but I do need to do kind of a dry run. There are some things that I need to kind of test fit before I do that final assembly. Well, when I was searching for old original irons to put onto this box, I ran across this brake ratchet that I thought would work, so I sandblasted it, cleaned it up, painted it. But when I put it up against this box, I realized that this right front standard is kind of in the way. So I had to go back to the drawing board. I went back and looked through my junk pile, and sure enough, I did find another one, and I think this one's gonna be a better fit.
Well, the wagon box is seldom, if ever, permanently attached to the undercarriage. They're designed to be lifted off and substituted as needed. Well, between this box and the bolsters, there's another secondary set of boards that does a double function. It keeps some of the wear off of the floorboard itself, and with a double cleat on the rear axle over the bolster, this is what keeps the box from shifting front to back. Now since the front axle and the front bolster pivot on the kingpin, as the front axle turns, the front bolster is somewhat free to kind of float. But the kingpin head sticks above the flat surface of the top of the bolster, so I'm going to put a hole in the center of this sandboard to relieve for the kingpin so that these sandboards actually set down on the bolster themselves. Well, the single cleat behind the front bolster will keep that bolster in the correct position. But the rear bolster is going to take a double cleat. So when the brake is applied, this box doesn't shift on the undercarriage.
When I get this box in its correct position to the undercarriage, I'll go ahead and nail through the floorboard into these sandboards, and that will position the box in its permanent position. So if there's a couple other things I need to check. We're going to put a pan box in the back of this, underneath the box, underneath where the chuck box is going to go. So I just want to double check some of those measurements first before I really lock it into place. Anyway, I hope we'll get into that next week, maybe putting on some bows and making some progress on this wagon. Once again, thanks for watching.